missing or deleted when it's not in your favor. Mine never comes up deleted. Anyway, am I being detained here? You're being detained until we make sure that you're carrying it in the appropriate way. If you're carrying Is there a law that states that you have the right to interfere and stop somebody to check and see if they might be breaking the law? Or don't you need reasonable suspicion or probable cause? The appropriate way, we'll get you out of here, no problem. So stamp it over my back. Well, we got to make sure that it's not loaded. Where's the law that says that? Uh, right, once it's not loaded, we'll get you on down the road, and you, you sit there and tote your flag and carry your gun until your heart can for Oh, how absolutely condescending. Now, that is also the Delphi technique. Delphi technique was developed by the RAND Corporation. A lot of these officers don't even know they're using it. It's been trained into their training. It's been uh, fused into their training. Uh, they don't even know. If you were to mention the RAND Corporation, they'd look at you like you had three heads. Is there anything being detained? Yes, you yes, are. you are until we ensure that you're being you're carrying the weapon the proper way. Is there any particular way? Is there any particular reason why you don't want us to know that that rifle was unloaded? Yeah, because it's none of your business. It's called Nunya. Public safety. Show me something that says my rifle. Oh, we don't, has I don't, to we don't need unloaded. to show you anything. Yes, actually, you do, especially when it's an extremely debatable subject that you can't quote from. Uh, from any specific law, except that it's the state law, and you can't refer to it by statute. You can't refer to it by statute. You have no argument. It says that it has to be unloaded. We're telling you it has to be unloaded, okay? So they write the laws. According to what law? What is state law? What's the are you a, are you a law-abiding citizen of the United States? Oh, so that now your your Fourteenth Amendment citizenship status and citizenship under the fifteen or the ten mile square of D.C has something to do with your inalienable rights? I'm not going to answer any more of these questions. Gotcha. We just need to ensure that it's unloaded. Once we figured that out, you can tote that gun down the street all you want. Once we figure that it's just a lump of steel and that, you know, you're not going to uh, stand against tyranny, uh, then, you know, then you can do whatever you want to do. Uh, my gun does not need to be unloaded. It, it absolutely does need to be unloaded. Show me the law. What's the what's the law that states my my firearm needs to be unloaded? You tell me the law that states it doesn't. Ah, <clears throat> now here we go to the tongue in cheek, nervousness, and that's what that is because he's unsure of himself at this point, uh, because he can't quote from a law uh, that states, and 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 he will never come back to apologize for his harassment of this individual. Um, it doesn't work. You're guilty until proven innocent. It is you're innocent until proven guilty. So you show me the law where it states that I can't walk around with it loaded. Show me the law. You're the one that's out here quoting laws to us. You're the one that engaged in this harassment. You're the one who confronted me that's given me a hard time. Ah, well said, sorry. Time about I'm not my giving rifle. you a hard time. You proved to me I'm doing something wrong. I'm not, I'm not giving you a hard time at all. We might be. I'm not giving you a hard time. If he wasn't giving you a hard time, then you wouldn't be standing there with his hand on his chest trying to act like he wasn't giving you a hard time. Being detained. You are being detained until we ensure that you are properly carrying that weapon. Yes. That's the only question you keep asking, and the only way I know to answer it is the way that I've, I've done it thus far. What's the statute? So, in other words, I don't know how to answer it, because this is the only way that I know how to answer it, whether or not it's right or wrong. You're going to have to educate me for you to be able to retain your rights. This is disgusting. This is communism. And it's it's being infused into their training and they don't even realize it. It says my lawfully carried firearm needs to be unloaded. You want me to go look it up? Please. Okay, stand right there. Get... Now see, he just offered to go look the law up because he knows that he needs to go by the law. But notice how that will never happen. ID on you? Oh, now it's, do you have ID on you? I thought it was that you thought that I might be breaking the law, so go show me the law and then maybe we can continue. I don't consent to you. Me. I'm not asking you if you consent. <laughs> so if you're not asking him if he consents, then this is a non-consensual encounter. If it's a non-consensual encounter and you don't have a law that you can quote from, you've just broken the law. You've just violated his rights. And there should be a law against that that enables us to arrest you for doing that. Because if I stopped a citizen going down the road, and I didn't have that shiny little badge on me because I thought he might break, be breaking the law, they'd lock me up if he wasn't. Because I don't have the right, you don't have the right, no one has the right to detain someone unless they're breaking the law. Or there's reasonable suspicion to believe that they're breaking the law. 
exercising of a constitutional right is not reasonable suspicion to believe that they've been breaking the law or are about to. Asking you if you have an ID on you. That's all I'm asking. If I'm lawful. That's not all you're asking. Only arrested, I will show you that. You ID. are being lawfully detained. If you do not wish to provide me with your ID, then I can lawfully arrest you. If you no, you cannot. That's misquoting the law. You can only do that if he is, there's reasonable suspicion to believe that he's broken the law or you've caught him breaking the law. Though, then he has to identify himself and not at any other time. He knows this. Like, I would rather not do that. Oh, you yeah. are lawfully detained. I'm asking for your ID. If you choose not to provide that ID to me, that is your prerogative. That's fine. Yes, yeah, but rest is. assured, you will be arrested for failure to identify. Uh -huh. There you do identify. So now you have an ID on you. State law. So you can approach a citizen at any time, yeah. not, break, at not any in violation time. of the law, yes. ask for ID, yes. and if they don't have it or refuse, yes. then you arrest them? Yes. This is what they're training them. And you wonder why there's problems between people and law enforcement. Right here, right now, this kind of crap needs to be nipped in the bud. So that's the way you roll, huh? Do you the, have an ID Look, man, you guys are giving me a hard time. I'm, I'm not you. Notice how this other guy, he already agreed that he was going to go back and show him the law. You notice how he's not walking back there to show him the law? Violation of the law. He's over here telling me I'm not detained. You're telling me he I'm detained. He never said that you were detained. Yes, actually, he did say that. He said that he wasn't detained. Didn't say that. You are detained now. Okay. Oh, well. and what changed from then until now? Nothing. I had okay. you on video telling me I wasn't. That's fine. I'm telling you that you are. Why am I confusion and, and mishandling? Wonderful. Part of the Delphi method. Until I ensure that you are carrying that weapon in the proper way. Do you stop you everybody carrying a concealed weapon? And That's not a concealed weapon. Not a concealed. You're right. You have to pay a tax. You have to pay money to be able to hold, uh, to carry a concealed weapon and not be harassed like this, which again is unconstitutional. But now we have to re-educate America, just like they're trying to re-educate America into communist collectivist tactics like this. This is policy. This is not policing uh, the way we were taught peace officers. This is policy officers. This is communism. This is being brought on by the RAND Corporation. So what? So what? So that, I'm sure, lawfully carrying listen, what? I don't have a problem with the fact that you're carrying an, an, an AR-15 down the road. He doesn't have a problem with he's carrying an AR-15 down the road, but he has a problem that he's carrying an AR-15 down the road because he's detained. I don't have a problem with it. If yeah. you want to express your for your Second Amendment right to carry a weapon, great, fantastic, I appreciate it. Yeah. Okay, I get it. I understand what you're doing, and I don't disagree with it. As long as it's not loaded, and you're not effective, and it is only a symbol and not real. I just have to do my job and ensure that you're doing it the right way. That's it. That's not your job. Do you, do you I mean, just tell us your name? No. You can call me Dave. Dave, okay. Dave, my name is Carlos, okay? okay? Before we go too far with I can call you, is Dave your name? Now, before we go too far with I can call you, if I tell you that you can call me that, I'm not telling you that that's my name. I'm telling you that that's what you can call me. He didn't give him a full name, and he didn't say that it was his legal name. So he's just trying to pluck his legal name from him so that he can write a citation. Because that's what it's all about. Revenue generation, taxes, redistribution of wealth. Because right now, refusing to give me your ID is one thing. Giving me the wrong name is something else. Yeah, because they can lie to you, but we can't lie to them. Remember that. And they work for us. So and then you woke up. You mean something that says I'm sure. up? Uh, that you have the right to lawfully detain me I'm for not, not breaking play, the law. Sir, I'm not going to I'm not going to play this game with you. Yeah, I'm not going to play this game where you know the law and I don't. Okay? I know what you're doing. I get it. We understand. Ah, uh, belittling me and talking down to me like I'm a child is not going to help your situation, which is you don't know the law. I know what you're doing. We understand. I, I get you it. don't have the right to stop citizens yes, I out do. of the blue and yes, say, I show do. me your ID. This is Nazi fucking okay, Germany. Yes, I do. And he's absolutely right. This is not Nazi Germany. And no, the cop is wrong. He has not the right. Bullshit. Sir, when, until I can... But this is what the Rand Corporation wants to bring on all of America. This is what they want to do. Biometric data... IDing, mastering the human domain. That's what that's what mastering the human domain is about. It's about identification. Confirm that you were carrying that weapon in the proper way. Yes, I do. We have multiple calls on you. 
That's democracy. This is a constitutional republic where individual rights hold. That's community groupthink. Again, communism, just because a whole bunch of people say something doesn't make it right. We have laws. We're a nation of laws, not a nation of bullies. At least that's what we're supposed to be. Okay. That gives us that gives us the authority to come out and invest. That gives us not the law. Notice how he just admitted that he is breaking the law because people called does not give them any right or authority. This is this is the face of, of American policing. Get used to it. Okay. So now, your dispatcher's as, not smart enough as part, to say, geez, is he breaking listen, the law? As, is he pointing it at somebody? If you if you want to express your Second Amendment right by Unbelievable. Just absolutely unbelievable. Well, let's see how this turns out, huh? I don't have the right to stop citizens yes, I out do. of the blue and yes, say, show me your yeah. ID. This is Nazi fucking okay, Germany. Yes, I do. Bullshit. Sir, when until the, I can confirm that you were carrying that weapon in the proper way, yes, I do. We have multiple calls on. No, you don't. The, well, I'm, the, the citizens it. are concerned, okay? That right. gives us that gives us the authority to come out and investigate you, okay? So now, your dispatcher's as, not smart enough to part, say, geez, is he breaking listen, the law? As, is he pointing it at somebody? If you if you want to express your Second Amendment right by open carrying your rifle, those are the consequences that you have to deal with. Those are the consequences for exercising a lawful constitutional right. These are oath breakers. This man should not be employed. He should be immediately fired. I don't care what he says or what he apologizes for. Too late. By wanting to carry, express your Second Amendment right, okay? No, that's not okay. You communist. That's, that's communism. This is Rand Corp Corporation communism. 